So today I'm here in Van Horn, Texas. I am off of Interstate 10, exit 140A. And I decided to explore a little bit and I went into this little town, semi-abandoned. It's got a lot of old buildings falling apart, some abandoned church, a uh, little abandoned mini golf course, which is for sale by the way. Um, some old bars, stuff like that. And uh, while I was exploring, I found this cool hotel. It's called the El Capitan. And it's an historic hotel that's been around since 1930. Now it's still fully functioning and it has a full service bar and a restaurant. So I decided I'm going to go check it out today. Um, they're about to open in about 15 minutes, the bar. And let's go see. Well, here I am at the El Capitan. It's got a nice little fountain there. It's the courtyard, I think, it is considered. Fine. In the back. It's got They even have a gift shop. A lot of little knickknacks in here. That's cool aftershave right there. That's how you. That's how you store your aftershave like a man. T-shirts. Snacks, of course. Wouldn't be a gift shop without snacks. Mugs, postcards. Really dig this shirt. I might actually get this for myself. Books, all kinds of literature. Hats and peepers, because you need your peepers. Jeepers creepers. Can't wait to tell people where I got my peepers. Ooh, and jam. Red jalapeno pepper jelly. I know quite a few people who would love that. I think I'm gonna go look into the men's room just because, oh, it's a small bathroom. There we go. <laughs> There's someone in there right now on the phone. Oh cool, there's actually rooms open. I'm walking around to see what's what. If you look online, you could actually see that um, people claim this place is haunted. I'm not sure how true that is. Oh, we actually caught them while they're remodeling some of the rooms. But it seems all rooms have their own private balcony, which is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
And here we are at the restaurant. This is the menu that they have here. Huge list of wine. Brief little history of So yeah, that's a little brief history if you have time to read it. The wine selection, I'm actually going to have a Moscato today, as you can see. They have lots of wine. It's a nice little place, I like the little ja old style jazzy music. It's the bar. View outside, we'll try to get more later. really good. Dinner is served. I got the rigatoni cappuccino and a moscato. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and I'll let you guys know how it is. So dinner was delicious. I have no complaints whatsoever. It was probably one of the better places I've stopped at to eat. And um, talk to the staff, real friendly here. And apparently, I asked them, is it haunted? Because I've heard stories of this place. And apparently there's a ghost named Fred. And he was the maintenance man. The original maintenance man in the 1930s. And apparently when he passed away, he just never left. And uh, he leaves the TV on in certain rooms. Or people will hear footsteps when no one's around. That's actually pretty cool. So, I'm back in my truck. And all in all, I can say it was a really good experience at the El Capitan Hotel. Between the friendly staff, the delicious food, the beautiful architecture of the building, the floor planning, the just I like old buildings and I like historical things. So it was all in all a good experience. And to find out that the resident ghost Fred, who was the original maintenance man, is still there is also a pretty awesome little fun fact. Now, a little more history on the hotel. Obviously, I said before, it was established in 1930. And if you ask the Duncans what the most interesting aspect of rebuilding the El Capitan, he will say finding the secret passageways of the building. Apparently, when the bank moved in, they closed it for security reasons, but there were several staircases, about 50 liner yards of underground tunnels, and one small room that looked like an employee hideout. He says during the renovations, they started pulling 1970s paneling off the wall and found all sorts of passageways that nobody knew anything about. The only artifacts from the original hotel that were found in there were some vintage monogrammed Al Capitan dishes and some 1930s beer cans which were found inside the hideout. That's pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tour of the place and hopefully I could do some more videos of more cool little places that I find. And I hope you all have a good day. Uh, like the video if you want to see more. Uh, if you want to see any other places that I travel to, go ahead and just let me know. Alright guys, have a good day. Thank you.